Okay, so I've got both brackets in there, and I went ahead and remounted my moon lights, and I just used the little pegs that are in there. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not going to go anywhere. Um, these are just laying in here, and these are the old lights, so um, the ones that are burnt out. Um, but you can kind of see how it works. Uh, the brackets could be a little closer together, but they're going to work. Uh, I just need to tap, uh, mark some screw holes, um, remove the brackets. I'm not going to screw the brackets or drill the, the brackets while they're in here because I think that will probably break the little pegs and I don't want to do that. So I'll, I'll get it all marked while it's in here and then I'll move them out, drill the holes out, and then mount the lights outside of the fixture, bring them back on here, and uh, tighten it all down and and I think I've got it. So let me go ahead and pull these brackets out, mark all these locations, and, uh, and do some more drilling, and, and then I'll be right back. But so far it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. This, this angle iron here that I used for that um, radion fixture on my big tank it is really useful, and it shouldn't, it should. Uh, should work just great for what I'm doing here. So uh, let me do the adjustments and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken the irons out, the angle irons out, and I've put in the, the holes, screwed the holes, and, and put the screws in. And everything's pretty solid. It, I, I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, I think this will work really, really well. Uh, I need to, now I gotta move on. <clears throat> To the screen which is dirty needs to be cleaned up but if i just put the cover back on the top of this i'm going to have problems because it's just going to get too hot under there so i've got to ventilate this so my plan is to cut out parts of the side to allow this thing to ventilate and basically make this just kind of a shield that would prevent water from getting splashed onto the fixtures so uh, i'm going to go ahead and my plan is to use my router and just route that those out and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that we'll see how that turns out but um, I'm really happy with this I think this will work really well um, so let me go ahead and trim this thing out with my router and uh, and I'll be right back okay so I'm done with the router and that turned out really well I think that uh, I should get enough ventilation. I may go back and notch it a little bit more, but the problem is, is the more that I notch this thing, um, the more that the flimsier it's going to get. So right now, it's still got some rigidity to it, um, although it's it's not as as stiff nearly as what it once was. But it's just going to mount in there and. Uh, so I think I probably got enough enough of a ventilation in there. So I, I think I'm gonna go with what I got and I'll I'll probably run a thermostat in there just to see how hot it gets in there and if it gets too hot maybe I'll open up the vent some more or induce a, introduce a fan of some kind. So I'm gonna clean this up and and then I'm gonna start to reassemble the thing um, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm I'm done with it.